with a multi-billion dollar rendering farm company. What's the point in rendering that if I could have just pointed a camera at a faucet? Exactly, exactly. Now, so That's on the- sort of the idea. But because I hate, so I hate video games in general. I, I wouldn't play them anyway. Um, and, and the more realistic they become, the less and less interested I get in them. Um, in fact, I was thinking about this when you were saying earlier, like all these different things that evoke, um, you know, nostalgic things, but the thing that they're emulating is the limitations of the, the time, floor. like pixel art. Um, I, I do enjoy those things though, because at the very least they don't look like reality. Um, and there are good ways of doing that and bad ways of doing it, which I won't bother getting into, but the, because I don't care about video games at all, I always think mm -hmm. about video. I think about it from the other perspective, which is the, 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 um, harm video games have done to other mediums, including the medium that I, uh, play in here. And but can, can you explain to me, can you go a little bit further and what exactly, give me some examples and what ex specifically you mean with what harm video games have done to other mediums? Okay, well, I mean, the easiest one would be movies and TV because it's the most similar and it's the one that, you know, is so obvious in video games as well, um, what it does the other direction. But um, ga gamification of narrative, of plot, and of rules mm. in story. Has, mm. has like we got to get we got to get the three pieces of the fucking cube in order to right. open the which, door. Which MacGuffins are a thing from fiction before there were video games, but the na the bare nakedness of it is from a it, you know these things are being written by a populace that grew up on video games and thinks that's a normal thing and was told when we were growing up, you were told over and over again, video games are not only going to be like the main biggest medium that exists in the future it already is or they used to say this yeah. all the time like it's the number one selling media that exists there's nothing else like it it's number one and it's true art how many times have you heard some gamer tell you that games are true art and then like how many games mm -hmm. are actually true art none of them like no, none almost of them none. Been, none, of, none no 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 not a single one. Not, think, not a, no, 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 no. You don't think it's a single video game? The, me, the medium hasn't evolved to the point where it can be that because none of it has been embraced by that. So when people get, when people call a game art, for instance, let's say a Silent Hill 2, right? Uh, that's a great story, but that story could have also been told in a movie. In the same, right. there's nothing that makes the, the video game better at telling that story, more efficient at telling that story than a mini series or a movie. Could. Right. I, I, listen, now, I there is certain games, there are certain games that do interesting things. Like for instance, there's a game called, and I've never played this, but it's called Spec Ops The Line. And this game marketed itself as just a regular old run and gun cover shooter, right? And you're like, like you're like a, a group of soldiers in like Iraq. Right. And you're just playing this game as if you would play any game, mindlessly shooting everything. And then the second act, you go back to like a carpet bomb. Every game is like this thing where you're in a helicopter and you're shooting from your helicopter, blah, blah, blah. But you have to go back and you actually see the damage you did on the ground. And you see like the mangled carpet bomb, sulfur <laughs> bomb corpses. And you actually have to go deal. And then the cat has to go deal with the trauma of that. Now that actually does you. It, the game made you do something unwillingly because you're so conditioned by other video games, and then it contextualizes those actions that you did. I think that's art. Then I, I don't know this game, but I feel like that's probably art. Like I feel I'm obsessed with the that idea. That is art. That is art. That does something with the medium. It it utilizes the medium to evoke a specific. It, but you were saying emotions. that no video games are art. That one is is is. I would. Comes, I feel like there's. Something. I feel like there's enough examples to say that's not true because, like, like for instance, I'm obsessed with the idea of something perfectly using its medium. It's something I think about a lot, and I do feel. And as little as I play video games, I think there are examples of that that even I know, like Hotline Miami, and also Hotline Miami too. I though those games are, they could not exist outside of video games. They do harken back to pixel art kind of looking stuff. It's this mm -hmm. old graphic stuff. But maybe the, Metal Gear Solid 2. Metal Gear probably. Solid 2. Probably. Uh, from what I've heard about I've never played those games. From what I've heard about it, yes. And I think there are a lot of 
I think there are a lot of good examples. Portal. I think Portal. Here's something interesting that's happened. This happened. Portal. But okay, look, Portal is a really great game, right? Yeah. Look, and I'm, not, and I'm not saying that it's not art, but I'm just saying when it comes to utilizing the medium, let's put it like that, okay? Let's say something that utilizes the medium to its massive uh, maximum effect. That happens rarely in video games, okay? Right. Yeah. It's all. It's so, it's so rare that you might as well not count it. Yes. Yeah, but, but but that's what if you want to elevate video games to a true art form, that needs to be happening. Every game needs to do that. <laughs> well, that.